So our third question is, um, should I get an internship in the summer or during the school year? Um, so I'm going to give an answer that probably people don't like, but it depends. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect answer, the platonic ideal for an answer on the podcast. Yeah, so I guess things to think about maybe are um, how busy you are. What does your schedule look like? Do you have time during the school year to be studying, taking classes, and doing an internship? That's one thing you might want to think about because the summer, obviously you have a lot more free time, hopefully. Um, and you can fully dedicate yourself to that internship. It also might depend on the kind of internship. Maybe not every area has internships during the school year. Um, maybe they're not well suited to doing during the school year because uh, you, I don't know, the internship is in the city and your campus is not in the city and you'd have to commute and just a lot of things to think about, I guess. Fair point. I kind of got lucky, whereas my major required us to get an internship, so that was like one of the blocks I needed to fill. So my internship like took up a time where I would be having a class instead. I also didn't have classes on Mondays or Fridays. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> Perfect. So, I had a lot of time. So lucky. Uh, so if you can manipulate your schedule a little bit if you're in college, that's always helpful. It can still be stressful. I didn't have classes my junior, my spring semester junior, I didn't have classes Mondays or Wednesdays. I had an internship, but I had four classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So I cried a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, remember that those Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Friday, like that's meant for homework. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that for a little bit at first. I was like, oh my gosh, I have Monday, Fridays off. Like I have a five, four day weekend. I can't count. Um, and then I realized, I'm like, when am I going to do my homework? Oh, yeah, on those Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We sound like a real dog. I'm going to, like, deviate, though, and actually say, I would be so bold as that you really should try to avoid taking them during the academic year. Mm -hmm. Like, unless your school has, like, an infrastructure built in, like, you have to, or it's, like, a co-op or something, like, I would try to avoid it. I did all mine during the summer because otherwise there's, like, the summer slump and you just get, like, real lazy or... Uh, something like that, but also because I always found the summer was a good time where I could balance it also with like part-time work Which mm -hmm. goes back to like our first and second questions of like Making it work financially, I guess like the fact that I could go to my internship three days a week and then work three days a week Was like what I had to do to make the internship kind of like work out in the books So I think that's like also totally valid and the other thing I would say too is like it depends of like <laughs> what company you're looking for. Like a lot of smaller companies, maybe they have interns all the time, but if you're gunning for one of these like major internships or frankly, like my perspective is like anything in like the technical arts or creative arts, like, mm -mm, like those only exist in the summer because they have giant internship programs that are managed by tens of people. And it's like, no, we take a hundred interns during the summer only. It's the only time it's gonna happen. Um, and so yeah, if you try to do it during like the fall or like for your like program, right? Yeah. If you try to say like, oh, we'll do it during the fall instead, like you, sometimes it's slim pickings for sure. Yeah. Think ahead though. Yeah. If you're doing it in the summer, let's start thinking about it like. Yeah. A while. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. In the fall. Yeah, like like start yeah. applying. You need to start fall. applying by January or February. Yeah. Um, for sure. There are, there are places like posting for summer interns right now. I can um, say from experience. Try applying in May. You will not find an internship in the summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need no. you need to get that locked in by like April. Yeah. Um, I remember one year, I so I worked on the Freedom Trail throughout college during the summer, and it was the summer before I went to Ireland. I needed to save up as much money as possible, and I had three jobs. One of those was an internship, and I thought it was going to take up more time than it did. So I told them that I wasn't going to be around that much, and I ended up being around a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. No, I... Too much. No, that was, sorry, that was my junior year. My junior year, I'd been applying to internships out of state, and I was like, I don't know how much I'm going to be around. I remember, because there were, I, I picked up a lot of tours, but this other kid who was a year older than me graduated and couldn't do a bunch of tours because he was sticking around for senior week, and no one was happy about that. 
accept him. But I was like, works for me. I get to pick up extra work. And I had, um, I was working for the League of Vermont Writers that summer, but I was doing a remote internship, which was cool. Uh, so as long as I got my work done, I got my money for the week. And as long as I, I did what my boss wanted me to do, it was all good. It was Gucci. That's interesting we haven't brought up much is like did anybody do internships out of state like out of where they lived i guess or far away well yeah hang on. <laughs> <laughs> right you were, you were, well, so, what was that, so what was that like in terms of like you know going you know all the way to madrid for your internship um well i was terrified actually and the whole month before i felt sick <laughs> because i was so afraid that i was going to go really far away and be all by myself in Spain, um, and I knew Spanish, but I mean, Spanish in class is not the same as Spanish in the country. So um, I was terrified, but it was actually really great. Like, I, and I knew that I, I needed to like. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I knew that it was going to be like a great experience. I just. Did you have to speak to Spanish the whole internship? Uh, no. Well, I mean, like the other people working there also spoke English. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't that bad. Um, I did have to occasionally speak to like the people getting visas in Spanish, and that was terrifying. I think it was like my second day. They put me in the window and they're like, "Okay, take people's fingerprints." <laughs> sure. <laughs> but they were just as scared as me, so it all worked oh. out. <laughs> and you mentioned that was through a government institution, right? You were saying that was an embassy. Yeah, the U.S. Embassy. Yeah. So because that was one thing I was going to bring up too is like if you are attempting to do an international or even like an out of state one like during the school year <laughs> like don't no, but um yeah. especially like there are there are internships internationally i like did not have any luck with them because you need to get like sponsored and somebody has to like, pay your thing so like even less than like the summer versus the school year just like be realistic about an international ones and less right through like your own government just in a different place for sure. You can also get stuff through um, the school. Champlain has a campus over in Dublin and one in Montreal, and they have internship classes that you can take where they find you an internship. You, They help you get all the visas and all that, and um, you end up doing an internship during the school year through that internationally, which is- That's fancy. Yeah, That's cool. That's a really cool thing. Yeah. I think, um, I don't know if it was required, but all the elementary ed students um, who went on my semester had internships in classrooms. So they got an international classroom experience. So if your school has that option, take advantage of it. Do it. I'll just do it. Don't even think twice. Do it. I went to London for a semester, and I didn't do an internship while I was over there, but my roommate, who went to the same school in the States as me, came over to London. She had an internship in London. and. Like London, a little easier to get an internship in. They speak English. It's pretty much the same kind of, I don't know what's But um, so she said it wasn't like a huge transition that way. That way, um, you know, they did the job the same way she was interning back at home. But you know, it's just like a great thing that she could put on her resume. Like yeah. even though she was doing, it wasn't like that harder, much harder. It like definitely boosted up her resume because she got an internship in a foreign country. It's like cool. the Disney effect. What? The Disney effect. So if you <laughs> if you put Disney on your resume, um, you're not guaranteed an interview, but it's one hundred percent gonna come up in an interview because everyone wants to know what was it like. Mm -hmm. Also, they do the Disney College program, which you can do during the summer or during the year, and you can get college experience. Like they do classes mm -hmm. as well as internship experience. So um, some schools will partner with them. Champlain did. My roommate actually ended up doing that. So. If you have that option, also look into that because the putting Disney on your resume will definitely give it the Disney effect. <laughs> <laughs> that said, you know the pre-Disney effect, which is if you're applying to a job, an internship at Disney, they have a drop-down menu of yeah. what colleges like you you need to be from, and if you click other, it, the computer throws your resume in a bin, and you you'll never hear from them. Oh, yeah. So, so, it's, so there's literally like a list of like 30 colleges near like the Disney campuses for this is more for like Pixar yeah. or like anything like that, but like. If you're not on those lists, like the cold hard truth is like, nah, don't bother. You're done. Very right. competitive. Maybe don't put all your eggs in that basket. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, put, yeah. don't put all your eggs in any basket yeah. when it comes yeah. to something huge yeah. like Disney or you mentioned Microsoft earlier or any big national big. company. Yeah. 
look for a couple of local ones as well. Yeah, like, for sure. Um, just because that, in general, like it, that kind of thing is a really good experience. Um, you but can. you can also get really good experiences other places. Yeah, for sure. Going back to the question about summer or fall, um, I don't know if you guys had like what well, your internship was like a full time job, pretty much like nine to five. But my internships were maybe like three or four hours. So I think that also oh, makes a big impact of like, you know, if you can do it in the fall or the summer. Okay. Um, you know, because if it is only in three hours, yeah. okay. it's not like too much of a commitment. Is it three or four hours every day? Oh. No, I had a three days a week. Really? Okay, because okay, I had three days a week full time though. It was like five, oh, okay. five three days a week. Yeah, because I, I know like I've heard both. Like, yeah. It would be yeah. full time, but some people also have what I have where it was just a few hours. Well, how long was your commute to it? Like Ten nearby. Minutes. Okay, see that must be part of it because I was yeah. commuting like into the city, so I think part of that was like that employer was cool. Yeah. They're like, well, yeah. if you're gonna come all the way here, and they'll well make that like that. clear too. And yeah. Maybe yeah. like what product. they expect, but yeah. yeah. It's it's curious easy. to see what you guys have. I have mixed between all of them. So with the freedom trail, that was four days a week. I had actually technically five days a week. Uh, we had to be in. Um, but the fifth day they would send us to different sites on the freedom trail for free to go into museums and learn more stuff because um, we were high school kids. They weren't going to make us work the full time. That was also a paid internship. Like we got money for all three summers. Um, but yeah, so we, um, that was like not nine to five, but nine to four, I think. Yeah. Like I think what we've learned is Kara is an internship unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we had to do, um, when I worked for the league, that was entirely remote. Like they would send me stuff that needed to be edited, or they would say, we have this event coming up here, the things we need to do. Or I ran their Twitter for a bit, so like, we need to tweet. That was it. <laughs> that was my internship. Would they just contact you randomly when they needed you? Like, there they was would, no I would get an email of like, here are things that I needed to get done. They didn't know how to use Twitter, so I was I was the tweeter. It can be difficult. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was before Instagram was huge, so we like didn't even have that. But it was, I was also supposed to live tweet for events that we were at too. So it was as long as I got my job things done, I my internship was good. Thank you.